So I've been using the Sony WH-1000XM5s for about 48 hours now. I purchased this with my own money. I'm not like the other reviewers where Sony send this out for review. And also I had a predecessor, the XM4s. I reviewed this back in 2020. I was rocking them out nonstop, listening to music, editing videos. These were my go-to headphones. And then December of 2020, that same year, Apple came out with the AirPods Max and completely took over. These currently were my go-to headphones. Now, fast forward to 2022, Sony released the XM5s. How does it stack up to the AirPods Max? Now, I picked up two colors. Now, I didn't do this on purpose. I want you guys to decide which color you want to go with, either the silver or the black. This year, this time around, I'm probably going to go with the silver. But for the sake of this video, I want to do a color comparison real quick so you guys could decide which one you go with. Um, since I had the XM4s in black, it just makes sense to get the silver. It's a clean look, and my AirPods Maxes are also in uh, Space Gray. AirPods Max is offered in many different colors, such as Space Gray, Silver, Blue, Green, Pink, so many colors. But I absolutely love the Space Gray. It just looks more professional, and that's just my personal opinion. Now that we have the colors aside, why don't we talk about the design? This is featuring a total redesign comparing to the XM4s. Now you have a telescope in air cushion, which I appreciate, similar to the AirPods Max. I love this mechanism way better to adjust it exactly the way you want it. And the air cushion is actually this leather finish and the depth of each air cushion is not too far deep like the AirPods Max. And you have a redesign to the headband itself. So you have this cushion material all around the headset itself. No matter how you put these on, you're gonna feel that pattern all around your head. The XM4s are good. The XM5s take it a step further, but nonetheless, you can't go wrong with either or in terms of comfort. Now, in terms of the weight differences, it's pretty significant on the AirPods Max coming in at 386 grams, opposed to the XM5s coming in at just 250 grams. The weird thing about the AirPods Max, once you have them on your head, the weight just magically disappears. And that is thanks to the headband. It's reducing that pressure. Even having this for over a year, it's no, durability concerns here, but it's no denying that the lightness of this is going to be better for your bag. And take a look at the air cushion itself. The gap isn't too significant opposed to the AirPods Max. The speaker drivers are right there. It's not a big gap. The XM5s is using a more softer synthetic leather material, but I still do not recommend working out on any of these, whether you have the AirPods Max or the XM5s, get yourself some wireless earbuds. But no matter what, when it comes down to headphones, I always prefer a fabric or a velvet material over the leather. The AirPods Max definitely check those boxes. And I love the fact how you can replace the air cushions very easily. Although Apple charged $69 for to replace it, you can easily pick up some third-party air cushions um, with the XM5s, you can replace them, but it's not as easy as the AirPods Max. But who am I kidding? Both of these headphones are super comfortable and, ooh, the noise canceling is taking an effect. They're both comfortable headphones. I might give the very, very ever so slightly edge to the XM5, so being slightly more comfortable, but the AirPods Max is right there. I appreciate the telescope and air cushion. This is stainless steel. And even just sitting down and looking at both of these headphones, the AirPods Max look more luxury. It looks, it screams luxury. The XM5 just looks cheaper, even though this is a pretty penny. It's like almost $400 here. Cause some people buy headphones for the flex factor. Let's, let's just face it. I, you know, I know a lot of people are gonna hate me for saying that, but people, are, that's why, why do you think people are rocking out with Beats still? Beats are trash, but people buying it for the brand. It's a flex. Some people are not really into that flashy in your face. They don't care about the branding as long as it works fine. The noise cancellation is good. Now, when it comes down to the control, Apple completely knocked it out of the park with the AirPods Max. This is featuring the digital crown where you can increase or decrease the volume very precisely. If you press down the digital crown, you pause the track. If you double press it, you get to the next track. You triple press it to get to the previous track and you press and hold for Siri. And then next to that, you have the button to activate transparency mode. These two controls are very similar to the Apple Watch. It is one of my favorite headset controls. Just like the XM4s, you have these swipe gestures where you swipe up, you increase the volume, you swipe down to decrease the volume, you swipe to the right to change the track, 
you swipe to the left to go to the previous track. If you double press the center, you play pause your song. Yeah, there's a little bit of a hit or miss. Sometimes I'm trying to increase the volume, but it changed to the next track. Once you get with the AirPods Max, you don't want to go back to anything that doesn't have that digital crown. Trust me. Now take a look at the left side of the headphones. You have a 3.5 millimeter jack. Take notes, Apple. Include that on the AirPods Max too. Um, because sometimes you could be on the plane. That requires a headphone jack. Um, of course, you have your power button. You press and hold it to activate pairing mode. And then you have your noise canceling and your transparency. Now I do appreciate the voice prompts on the XM5s just to hear the battery percentage on the fly. Um, on the Apple side, you don't have no um, voice prompts. And then on the other side of the air cushion, you have Type-C for charging. Man, I wish we had Type-C on the AirPods Max. When I have these headphones on, I can make this video right now and I can still hear myself. Oh, let me turn on transparency. And it feels like I don't even have the AirPods on. The microphones are crystal clear. It's one-to-one. -one. It's hard to even tell the difference. And you can feel where the microphones are located. You can touch it. It's there. But wow, Apple knock it out of the park when it comes down to uh, transparency. And even the noise canceling. These things get scary quiet to the point where you hear your heart beating. Like literally, I can't even hear myself right now. Let me turn these off because I might be yelling. And we all know Sony is king when it comes down to noise canceling, but that transparency, it pales in comparison compared to the AirPods Max, in my humble opinion. And I wish you guys could take a listen for yourself. When I put these on, oh, let me turn these on. And that's another thing too. The AirPods Max don't even have an on off button. So you have to turn these on. I sound a little bit robotic. It doesn't sound near as one-to-one -one as the AirPods Max. AirPods Max blows the XM5s out the water when it comes down to transparency. But when you activate that noise canceling, it is like one-to-one -one here now. Yeah, so now this is something that we can actually compare and you literally cannot hear nothing. I, You know, when I was testing, I was outside. You don't hear the cars. There was a party next door. You know, the weather here in the East Coast is breaking out now. And when I put these on and activate noise canceling, it was able to block all that noise out. Now, unfortunately, I haven't traveled with the XM5s just yet, but judging by my experience of the XM4s, I, like if you don't have noise canceling headphones, like actual over the ear headphones, you are absolutely missing out when it comes down to traveling. Cause I know on the airplanes, you hear the jet engine throughout the whole flight. Both of these headphones are crowned one of the best over the ear headphones when it comes down to noise canceling, but the AirPods Max get that slight advantage because the transparency is really, really absolutely that good. Um, but the XM5s, you, you literally hear your heartbeat when you activate noise canceling on the XM5. Both headsets swivel, but they are not gonna fold in place. And that is something that Sony got rid of compared to the XM4s. And I think that's due to the telescoping adjustable air cushion. What would you guys rather? Headphones that fold or would you rather the telescoping feature here? Honestly, i rather something that fold because when you're traveling, you want you want your space to be as compact as possible. And I know they could probably think of a solution to have something that's telescoping and be able to fold at the same time. Because now that translate the case being bigger. So the case is gonna take up more room in your bag. Cause look how small this is compared to the XM5s. And then the AirPods Max, this is still big compared to the XM4s. Now, if you download the Sony app, you have more functionality, so you can adjust the noise canceling, which you're not gonna find on the AirPods Max at all. And it gives you a visualization on what you're blocking out per se. Now, these features were a thing on the XM4s. When it comes down to sound quality, going back to the app, I appreciate the EQ sliders. The XM5 sound quality is very similar to the XM4s. That's not a bad thing. It's featuring that rich, clean bass that I appreciate. It's not that overpowering thumping bass. You have a nice amount of trouble going on the mids. The sound quality is pretty remarkable to say the least. I test out various different music such as hip hop and R&B, rap, trap, reggae music, soul music, you name it, I test it out, pop music. But on the other side of the coin, the AirPods Max is pretty dang good too. You have support for spatial audio, is another dimension of hearing your music. And I appreciate it sometimes, depending on the song, on what it is. If you listen to The Weeknd, right? If you listen to Don FM or um, Blessings by Big Sean or even Meek Mill Championships, some songs are 
curated to spatial audio. They really took their time with it, but some songs are just like rushed out where it just sounds terrible. Apple's audio engineering team always knocks it out of the park when it comes down to sound quality. I just literally reviewed the studio display and those are the best sounding monitor speakers that I ever heard in my life. And the AirPods Max, no exception. You have computational audio, adaptive EQ, so many features going on and you really hear the difference. The AirPods Max in terms of sound quality is better than the XM5s. That's just my humble opinion, especially if you're using Apple Music Spatial Audio, depending on the song, it really pales in comparison compared to the XM5s. But not to say that the XM5s are terrible, we're comparing apples to oranges here. But here's the thing, Apple doesn't allow you to adjust the EQ. Clarity on the AirPods Max is better, but this is literally right behind, like literally tailgating the AirPods Max in terms of sound quality. So as you can see, this is a very tough comparison here. And that's why I kept my XM4s. I could have sold them after using the AirPods Max. I let my brother borrow them because he don't have noise canceling headphones. And when you're on those planes, you just need noise canceling headphones. Now the microphone quality on both the AirPods Max and the XM5s, they sound pretty good. It's not the best in the world. I might give the very slight advantage to the XM5s. You just have a little bit more clarity going on. But nonetheless, instead of me talking about it, here's a microphone test of the XM5s and the AirPods Max. Take a listen. This is a microphone test of the AirPods Max. Let me know down in the comments down below how's the microphone. And I already shot this video. I didn't even talk about the battery life. The battery life on the AirPods Max is rock solid. It lasts pretty much all day, but I don't listen to music all day or watch movies all day on my AirPods. So give or take, for me, just three days of usage and it charge super fast, although it takes lightning. This is a microphone test of the Sony XM5s. Let me know down in the comments down below, it has a mic. In terms of the battery life, I haven't had these long enough to really do any kind of testing, but as of yet, I haven't charged them after using them for two days. Haven't used them all day, maybe like at about an hour per day, but nonetheless, both of these headsets, Nonetheless, both of these headphones, you're going to be able to have pretty much all day battery life for that long play ride. And that's what matters at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, let me know down in the comments. How's the microphone? Connect. Now, the XM5s feature multiple Bluetooth pairings, so you can connect two devices simultaneously. And let's say you're playing something on your phone and you pause your music on your phone and you decide to watch a movie on your tablet. You could be able to connect to that device automatically without repairing it unpairing that one. So you have two devices connected, but you can only listen to music on one device at a time. But unfortunately, this feature takes it a step further on the AirPods Max side. It's literally on steroids. So basically, if you are part of the Apple ecosystem, you have an iPad, you have an iPhone, Apple TV, iMac, once you pair up your AirPods Max on one device, all your devices are connected. So if you're watching a movie on your iPad and you decide to pause that movie, and listen to music on your iPhone, it's automatically gonna connect. And let's say you pause that track on your iPhone and you decide to watch a, a real movie on your Apple TV, it could connect there by pressing the TV icon. Literally any device you start using, you're gonna get a prompt on your device to connect to your AirPods Max. So this feature is way better on the AirPods Max if you're part of the Apple ecosystem. Okay, so let's talk about pricing. You can pick up the XM5s for $399, now, I recommend saving a little bit of cash and getting the XM4s. I love the fact that you can fold them. It's not going to take up as much space. And the features are very similar, believe it or not. So why not save the extra couple of dollars? The XM5s, I recommend them too. But for the price difference and the dollar for dollar value, you're better off with the XM4s. But if you can find these at a good deal, then yeah, by all means. Now on the AirPods Max, on the other hand, this is going to cost you a whopping $550 plus tax. That is expensive. The most expensive headphones that I ever owned. But I throw in the description to Best Buy, Amazon, so you guys can find the best deals. Now, in terms of which one you should buy, it all depends. You cannot go wrong with either or a headset. If you go into a plane that trip, both of these headphones are going to treat you just fine. Um, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, it goes without saying the AirPods Max is going to suit you well, but if you want something that's cheaper and you have pretty much similar functionality, or maybe you're on the Android side, or, you know, this is going to work for iOS too, the Sony XM5s or XM4s, they're going to treat you just fine too. So I can't declare a winner. 
very close man this is a very close comparison all depends on your devices that you use at a daily basis so let me know down in the comments are you team xm5s or team max and while you at it make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on and drop a like on this video It'll help me out tremendously help me reach the 200,000 subscribers i know we can make it happen all right guys until next time have a simple day peace